Kayla Sullivan reporting live from outside my son's bedroom where he's currently being detained until nap time is over. Now, this story does involve a minor, so I can't release specifics, but what I can confirm is my son is a two-year-old terrorist who held me hostage at the Olive Garden earlier today. It's important to note the friends I met there do not have children and likely never will after witnessing this situation firsthand. This is an active investigation, but authorities believe the proper precautions were taken. I brought my son's favorite snacks and even risked judgment from other moms by bringing an iPad. But not even Cocomelon could have stopped this meltdown. After several cries demanding, quote, ketchup, ketchup, a good Samaritan waitress miraculously understood it as the English word ketchup and brought him a bottle. Unfortunately, her good deed was later punished after he threw a ketchup-covered fork at her. Not all heroes wear capes, but this one should have worn an apron. You know, these toddler outbursts are becoming increasingly common as more and more parents try out the new craze, gentle parenting, and completely suck at it. <laughs> I'll keep trying. Back to you. Dad, can I have some ice cream? No, buddy, it's almost time for bed. Don't let this happen to you. I'm gonna teach you how to get what you want from your parents. Let's do that again. Dad, I really missed you today. Can we share a bowl of ice cream and talk about our day? Sure, buddy. Yes! You gotta figure out what's important to your parents. For Dad, it's quality time. And for Mom, it's something else. Mom, can I play my video game? Have you already played your video game today? Let's do that again. Mama, can I do that for you so you can take a nap? That is so sweet of you. Yes, thank you, honey. Thank you, I love you. And when I'm done, I'll gladly play my video game. Just because it works for me, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. You gotta figure it out yourself. Got it? Got it. Go get it! <laughs> hey Dad, will you play with fire? What? Ugh, beginners. The only reason that men say women and children first in tragedies, like when a ship sinks, is so that they can hang back and kiss each other. Wake up. Wake up, liberals. The only reason that men say women and children first in tragedies, like when a ship sinks, is so that they can hang back and kiss each other. Wake up. Wake up, liberals. 
Teenage pregnancy rates have been declining across the state, but here in Pennington, they've jumped almost 30 percent. That's right, Blake. Experts say that the increase can be attributed mainly to Cody, a handsome teen whose family moved here from Abbotsford last year. In one typical month here at Pennington's Methodist Hospital, over half of the pregnancies are the result of Cody. These girls are not getting the education they need about Cody. They don't fully understand Cody, and unfortunately, that's part of the appeal. I mean, after the summer, when Cody gets his tan, hmm, it's going to get a lot worse. Just this down. month, the health teacher at Pennington right High began a new program to teach female students about the dangers of Cody. I try to teach teens how to say no to Cody, even if he plays his guitar for them. Speaking to reporters this afternoon, Mayor Hallinan supported this well-rounded approach, saying an abstinence only stands on Cody doesn't work. Simply telling our teens to just say no to Cody isn't realistic. He has a fake ID and he does 100 push-ups every morning. We need to have a frank and open dialogue with our daughters about Cody because he's not going anywhere. His parents just bought the Radberger's old house. I tell you, it's tough for kids to wait out on Cody. I myself am pregnant with Cody's child, but I'm not 16. Dad, can I have some ice cream? No, buddy. It's almost time for bed. Don't let this happen to you. I'm going to teach you how to get what you want from your parents. Let's do that again. Dad, I really missed you today. Can we share a bowl of ice cream and talk about our day? Sure, buddy. Yes! you got to figure out what's important to your parents. For Dad, it's quality time. And for Mom, it's something else. Mom, can I play my video game? Honey, you already played your video game today. Let's do that again. Mama, can I do that for you so you can take a nap? That is so sweet of you. Yes, thank you, honey. Thank you, I love you. And when I'm done, I'll gladly play my video game. Just because it works for me, doesn't mean it's going to work for you. you got to figure it out yourself. Got it? Got it. Go get it. <laughs> hey, Dad, will you play with fire? What? Ugh, beginners. In Modesto, California today, crowds turned out for the annual Modesto County Ninja Parade, which once again passed through town entirely undetected. This is our fourth straight year coming in. We've still never seen a ninja. According to an arrow scroll delivered straight into the heart of the city clerk, this marked the 30th year that the Modesto area ninjas have stealthily celebrated their heritage. It's amazing how the ninjas can sneak by undetected on us. The kids love trying to be able to spot them and, and not being able to. A record crowd of 3,000 people came out to not see the ninjas. We were right where the ninjas probably were. The best part was probably when I found the candy in my pocket. The ninjas must have came up behind me like really fast and put all this candy. Despite its long tradition, only once in 1984 was any evidence of the parade's presence captured on film. And after the event, attendees were informed that the theme of this year's parade had been Shiro Tori Kuroi Kage. 